Hey everyone, this is David at Soundpure Recording Studios here with Luke Smith. We've been talking about the Euphonics Artist Series controllers, and now we're going to dive into the touchscreen capability of the control. Now, the touchscreen works like this. We've got a couple of different pages of the touchscreen. Now, uh, the default page is called the Tracks page. And the tracks page is basically populated by all the tracks in the session as soon as you launch um, whatever session you want to work in, right? So I have kick, snare, overhead left, overhead right. Now I'm very easily able to get to basic mixing functions yet again from here if I'd like to, such as selecting the track in the DAW or say muting the track in the DAW, right? Or we'll go ahead and pull up the mixer again so we can see that. Uh, so selecting the track in the DAW, right? Mm -hmm. Or say muting the track just by touching it, we can record arm it, or we can obviously solo it too just by touching it. So just another way to get to the basic mixing functions very quickly and in a grid style. Um, now the second page is what really um, allows this thing to be so powerful and it's called the soft keys page. And the soft keys page is a grid of 24 virtual buttons of which you have a lot of pages of that are clearly pro labeled and programmed to do all sorts of functions we think you might want to do in the software you're currently working in. Mm -hmm. you remember how I said earlier that the Surface was actually application aware? Mm -hmm. So when I switch to any application on my Mac, so you control or we'll even switch over to the Finder here, mm -hmm. I will actually have buttons for the Finder. So if I wanted to switch to Finder really fast and wanted to create a new Finder window, I would just hit the new Finder window button and that's what it's doing, right? Yeah. Now I go back into Pro Tools all the buttons switch again, right? Because mm -hmm. now they're doing Pro Tool specific um, functions, sure. right? So it's very, very powerful that way. Uh, and furthermore, we are the only control surface currently on the market that will allow you to switch apps like that. There's yeah. nothing else out there that does that, it's right? Very cool. Yes, yeah, very, very cool. So. Um, We've got a ton of pages of these, and in addition to the virtual buttons, uh, we also have two rows of six down here that are also um, function buttons and are also basically accessing uh, or allowing you to access all sorts of types of functions um, in whatever software you're working in. Um, the idea here is we give you some virtual buttons and we give you some physical buttons. Now, these buttons both the physical ones, we call them the surface buttons, and the touchscreen buttons are pre programmed by us in our factory to do all sorts of stuff we think you might want to do. But say you didn't like where we put a specific button. Say for instance you didn't like where we put this new track button, mm -hmm. for instance in Pro Tools, right? Now if, um, and you wanted to change it because you work a different way. Um, we are very easily able to do that as well by going into our own software called U-Control and uh, basically customizing the touchscreen per application. Now how do we do that? Remember earlier I said that we also have workstation buttons here so with my MC Control I'm going to be switching to my application, the Euphonics application called U-Control. Um, and before we get into how to customize the buttons, I will quickly talk about the different tabs in U-Control. The Surfaces tab shows me that I have both an MC Mix and an MC Control attached to the computer. If I say I had more MC Mixes, um, then they would all show up under My Surfaces and you'd be able to uh, label them uh, MC Mix 1, 2, 3, 4, however you want to do it. And that brings up another good point. Um, we wanted to, basically the question would be here um, how many mixes can you add to a control or would yeah. you need more than one control sure. or more than one transport mm -hmm. um, and the answer is control since it has a dedicated transport section it has this touch screen they're doing function but uh, doing functions for the app you would only need one of those per setup, right? Sure. And you, furthermore, the transport essentially the same thing. You would only need one transport per setup. But if you need more physical faders, you can add up to four MC mixes, right, to your MC control. Right? or just add another mix to uh, the one mix that you already own. So the maxed out configuration would be four MC mixes, one MC control, and one MC transport. So really about 36 faders yeah. is what you're getting, yeah. get your hands on. 36 touch sensitive motorized faders, cool. exactly. Definitely. Exactly. Uh, so okay, moving back into U-Control. So U-Control has a few different tabs, the surfaces tab. Okay, so we've got the mix and the control both attached. Now, the mix is on the top 
of the list. Which means that if I open up a 24 track session in my DAW, then track one is going to show up on my leftmost fader, which is where we want it to be, right? Mm -hmm. um, but if I say, because, excuse me, the MC Mix is physically set up on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. If I say wanted to have my control physically on the left hand side, then I would very easily just swap them, right? Ooh. They automatically swap, and now track number one is going to be showing up on this fader. Uh, now, the workstations tab exists because um, we can actually control two computers if you wanted to. Um, so just as quickly as I was switching between the Finder, right, for, sorry, say, excuse me, Pro Tools and the Finder, you see how quickly the touchscreen switches when we're doing that, right? Um, from the Finder to Pro Tools. This has quick, it's, it's, it's instantaneous. It's just as fast as the computer switches. Mm -hmm. We could actually be switching computers entirely, right? So say, it's for obviously for more specialized situations, but say that you had um, a Mac Pro that was only doing uh, video work, such as Final Cut Suite, sure. um, whatever, and you had another dedicated machine that was only running Pro Tools, right? Running Pro Tools HD for you. Mm -hmm. Well, you would literally hook both computers up into this existing network that I already have in place, and you would um, basically then be able to, both machines would show up, you'd be able to attach both of them to my workstations, and then with this button here, or this button here, you could be toggling workstations entirely. And the Surface will recognize that I'm attached to machine number one, mm -hmm. say Final Cut Pro is open, mm -hmm. and then just automatically load the Final Cut Pro data just like that. Yeah. You hit the same button again, boom, it switches over to machine number two, recognizes Pro Tools is open, automatically switches to Pro Tools, just like that. Very cool. Very, very hip. Once again, we are the only Surface currently on the market that allows you to do that either. Right? Pretty versatile. Very versatile. And now we're going to preferences here. The preferences are really just for the dim time of the mix and of the MC control. The MC mix, by the way, has a high res OLED display, which is really great because OLEDs, they don't have any backlight of any kind, so black is really, really black, which makes the resulting display look more vibrant. And uh, they don't, they draw about a quarter of the power of normal LEDs, right? Hmm. So it's the latest display technology and we're using it with the NC Mix. Cool. And the NC Transport also has an OLED display. And then the last thing is uh, the brightness of the controls, touchscreen itself. And the sign and layouts are something we can get into a little bit later, but the soft keys is where we were getting to.